okay okay now let's talk about the grooves we have talked about the grooves before but not that much in this groove you can see uh, the in this picture what we have we have the major groove in this portion we can see here and, and a minor in the opposite and you have the major in here and the minor in the opposite that's how it's going on all the time okay this is a simple consequence of the geometry of base pairs because of the base pairs arrangement the groove is different because if we look at uh, the view from this groove if we place our eye in this groove we can see different geometrical considerations different geometrical arrangement of those bases those bases are arranged in such a way that, that the groove is formed okay so the angle between the glycosidic bond what we have found uh, can can say us uh, the the structure of the groove uh, uh, whether the groove is going to be a bigger one or a smaller one normally the the major grooves are uh, uh, 240 uh, degree in angle and the minor grooves are 120 degree in angle to the axis okay so uh, as a result of uh, base placement and geography it is happening so what are the major difference between this major group and minor group S there are very few uh, structural differences uh, which what you what you can see by looking at this picture is the major group is larger minor group is smaller major group can be occupied by water because the water molecule come in many water molecule can come in and sit on the major group they can also sit on minor group but not many very few but except from this the this this large angle of major groups uh, contain something more to be discovered and that thing is if you look at the major group side so this is the major group portion this colored portion is the major group portion and this is the minor group portion so the major group portion what we have found we, have, we find something very very interesting uh, we are looking at in the next slide so so here uh, is uh, here is the interaction so, so this is the end glycosidic bond so if you look at this bond angles then this is the 120 degree angle this is the uh, 240 degree angle which is uh, the slide uh, is a completely double of the minor group if we look at the structure of major group then we can find structural differences like that so this is the major group, the same kind of picture, uh, this is the end glycosidic linkages, 120 degree in case of minor, 240 in case of major. Then major group what you found, remember we denote D for donor, that means hydrogen bond donor, A for acceptor, hydrogen bond acceptor, N for the methyl group. So in this major group what you found, we found uh, the presence of adenine, donor, then ad uh, so sorry, presence of acceptor, donor, acceptor and methyl group. And the other portion of minor group what we found, we found ad acceptor, the one hydrogen atom uh, and, and another acceptor. Okay. So this is in case of AT pair, right? Now if we look at the TA pair, what we can find? So if we look at the AT and TA pair in this feature, so we have acceptor, donor, acceptor and methyl. In the minor, acceptor, uh, hydrogen and adenine uh, and acceptor group. In case of AT pair, so this is the AT pair normal. Now if we look uh, from the TA pair, this is also a pair which is made up with two hydrogen bond uh, interaction with each other. In this pair what we are looking at, in minor group we are having acceptor, hydrogen and acceptor, which is same uh, the pair of AT. So whether the bonding is AT or TA, we cannot distinguish by looking at in the major minor group. Remember, I am repeating my point. That if we look at through the minor group, in case of AT we are seeing acceptor hydrogen acceptor in case of TA we are seeing acceptor hydrogen acceptor so these two things are the same so we, after looking at uh, the minor group we cannot dis distinguish between the presence of AT or TA so we cannot say whether uh, we are looking at the AT pair or TA pair but if we look through the major group side we can find in case of AT it is ADAM but in case of, in case of uh, TA pair it is MADA so the information in this group is changed in case of AT and TA pairing if you look at AT pair it is one if you look at the GC pair which is here it is it's totally different that's fine if you look at uh, the minor group of GC pair and the minor group any AT pair then they will differ so that can tell us the story about whether it is GC or AT so if we look at from the minor group it can tell us the whether it is AT or GC but if we have to distinguish whether it is AT or TA then you have to look at from the major group that's why we can say the major group contains more and more chemical information than the minor group that's a very very important part of this lecture the major group is very important in chemical it is rich in chemical information 
that's why most of the DNA binding proteins which are very very specific of DNA binding which need to follow the attachment sites really regularly really quickly they will also always bind with these major groups rather than minor groups because they have to they have to lo look for AT rather than TA that's why they choose major group to bind with not the minor group okay so in case of GCP is also true you can see in case of GCP so this this part of through the minor group is the same ADA DA and it is a major group are different in both cases that's why it's very very important to understand now the look at the characteristics of DNA binding but the most of the time if there are two different kinds of DNA binding protein one is specific or another is a non-specific if we talk about a specific DNA binding proteins the patterns are important uh, the regions uh, which it is needed to bind is important that's why they need to have a particular region particular region of uh, its interest to bind with so if it is specific if it has to bind with T A T A A T to initiate the transcription of prokaryotic genes they will all, all the time they will bind with this AT region not the TA region that's why in these situations they need to make confirm they need to make confirm that uh, they always also pair with the TA that's why they need to be attached with the major group not the minor group but there are some uh, mm, uh, proteins DNA binding proteins are out there like histone proteins which are non-specific in nature which are non-specific which give the structural integrity of the DNA in case of eukaryotic DNA we find this histone proteins this histone proteins can only bind with the major or minor group they can bind with any part of this uh, kind of portions okay so here is a comparison of major and minor group most sequence specific DNA binding proteins uh, or the regulatory proteins bind with this ex uh, bind this uh, bind with major group uh, rather than minor group the group binding drugs are uh, some of the drugs can be present can be found there the group binding drugs which are the intercalators can be found to be bound with the minor group region okay the mi minor group region some of the drugs can uh, uh, only bind with this minor group region because in so in those uh, the in those diseases the main goal of us to to block the dna uh, from multiplying so we need to add uh, drugs that can be added to any site so irrespective of se sequence regulation or sequence specificity we design drug because if we regulate if we make a drug that will bind with a particular sequence it need to find that sequence it will take some time and it will not may it may not find that sequence very randomly that's why you need to design a drug which can attack with any part of the DNA that's why you design some drug which will eventually gonna bind the minor group rather than the major group okay are many non sequence specific proteins are there like histones that will uh, can bind with the minor group okay now uh, let's talk about the energies involved in the grooves the energies that can be found in the grooves are the stacking interactions uh, what is the stacking interaction is made up with it is made up with actually the hydrophobic forces as well as the van der Waals interaction which is a dipole dipole interaction so this kind of interaction can lead to the formation of the the the, the highly energetic molecule which is DNA, high, highly energetically stable molecule which is DNA the additional stabilization can be done by the network of hydrogen bonds but remember one thing the most of us think about the hydrogen bonds to hold the structure of DNA but the actual thing is that the base stacking interaction can be placed in the highest place because the base stacking interaction plays the key role in attaching or involving the structure of DNA in maintaining the structure of the DNA okay then the hydrogen bonding then the electro electrostatic forces now let's talk about this DNA binding proteins we have the non-specific like histones that can bind with uh, these proteins non-specifically and these histone proteins are trends to bind with the A and T regions uh, because the A and T regions are very very uh, easier to make a bend because in this picture what you can see the DNA have to bend on this histone proteins so we need some of the regions AT because AT are bound with two hydrogen bonds so it can be easily bent but the GC is hard to bend that's why you can find that uh, histone proteins are assembled with the region of the DNA which find more and more AT sequence rather than the GC sequence and there are some specific DNA binding proteins like transcription and regulation proteins uh, proteins like uh, different kinds of uh, proteins in quorum sensing and other parts it is used those proteins are actually non histone proteins which are specific proteins will bind with the major group always they prefer to bind with major group rather than the minor group 
uh, that's what uh, we have studied in this uh, part of the video is about the structure of the DNA, the major group and the minor group and uh, the chemical composition of major and minor group and the structural feature of major and minor group and why the, the protein will interact with the major group rather than the minor group and uh, we'll talk, we have talked about the some basic processes how the DNA is making s made stable what are the interactions that helps the DNA to be made stable and that is not the hydrogen bond in the first place it will be the, the static the stacking forces between bases which is simply the hydrophobic interaction and the van der Waals interaction that's uh, about the secondary structure of the DNA and I hope that's can help you